Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about the University of Washington in Seattle. But before we start, I have a small request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it will keep motivating us to make such informative videos in the future. So let's start with the application requirements. There are total seven application requirements in University of Washington. First, an online application that costs around $85. Second, four years of bachelor degree with a minimum of three GPA. Third, a resume. Four, two letter of recommendation. Fifth, a statement of purpose. And sixth, English professional test or your IELTS, TOEFL or PT score. There is additional of two years of professional experience also required in this university. To be considered for admission, all applicants must hold a minimum of two years full-time post-degree professional experience as software developer, software engineer, or similar law. Undergraduate internships, even full-time, do not count towards the two years of experience benchmark. The minimum English score requirements are as follows. TOEFL, 92, IELTS, 7. The average profile score for a computer science admit is as follows. TOEFL, 106. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science and engineering course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I'll definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 40 course credits. This can take at least 30 months. All students pay the same rate regardless of the citizenship status or Washington state residency. Tuition fees for one course credit is around 1076. So the total tuition fees for the entire course for an in-state or an international student comes around $43,040. There are additional fees such as technology fee, campus infrastructure fee and service activity fees on top of it. It can be around $250 per quarter, but this should give you a fair idea. One thing to note here is that this is just a rough estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's talk about the housing costs. While many graduate students live off campus in nearby apartments and houses, University of Washington does provide on-campus housing options for graduate students. The cost of one bedroom with on-campus is around $1,600 to $2,200 per month. Off-campus housing offers affordable op options, so many graduate students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus housing options. The average rent for an entire two-bed or two-bath apartment is around $1,400 to $1,800 and the average rent for per person is around $600 to $800 per month. The average monthly utility bill is around $80 to $120 per person. You can also join our special University of Washington Facebook and Telegram housing groups and connect with other international students. You can find the link in the description below. Next, let's talk about transportation. But before we go forward, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Students can use the U-Pass to get unlimited rides on metro transit, regional buses, commuter trains, light rails and water taxis as well as full fare coverage on manpools. The nearest international airport to the university is Seattle Tacoma International Airport, which is just 30 minutes drive from the main campus. Next, let's talk about the on-campus jobs. University of Washington has an online job portal powered by Handshake for on-campus job application. You can apply directly in the portal using your resumes. International students can work 20 hours per week during regular full-time quarter and more than 20 hours between the quarters and annual vacation quarters. The average pay around could be around $11 to $15 per hour. Some of the pros of pursuing masters at University of Washington are as follows. First, academic reputation. University of Washington is a well-respected respected institution with strong programs. Second, location. Seattle is a vibrant city with diverse culture, tech industry presence, and natural beauty. Being in a tech hub, students can connect with other professionals 
and potentially secure internships or job opportunities. Third, international community. The university has diverse student body offering a chance to interact with people from around the world. On the other hand, some of the cons of pursuing masters here are as follows. First, cost. Tuitions, tuition fees and living expenses can be high, particularly for international students. Second, competition. Being a prestigious university, the admission process and the academic environment can be highly competitive. Third, weather and traffic. Seattle's weather is known for its rain and gloomy days, which might not be ideal for everyone. The city's traffic congestion can be frustrating and time-consuming. Remember, the pros and cons can vary based on individual preference and goals. It is important to research thoroughly and consider what factors matter most to you when making a decision. Additionally, you may want to reach out to current or former students of University of Washington to gather their insights and experience. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel and also don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram using the link in the description. Thank you.